part two to what you've been waiting for is here. But we have some detective work to do because something is just, it's, it's, it's fishy, okay? Because I've got some new information spilling in. But first, let's start with an informal greeting from me to you. What is happening? What is up? My name is Stacy. If you did or did not know, I got a lot of you saying part two, part two, part two, part two, part two, part two, part two. Thank you for coming through. Thank you. See, this is what I like. The bond, the strong bond, the commenting down below saying, yes, girl, bring out a number two. I'm here. I'm here to bring that number two out to you. That sounds horrible. Let's, okay. Two things, and it's not what you think. One, I feel really freaking stupid. 150 likes are in the bag. Way overboard that. 759 likes on that video. I asked for 150 likes and thought that I only got like 262 likes on the last video of Running Man, which if you haven't seen it, you definitely have to go watch it. It's a good one. But that turns out that was the comments and not the actual like because I forgot to scroll over a little bit while I was looking at it. But anyways, that's besides the point. So I take back what I said about that I made it super easy for you to hit that 150 likes so depending on the information that we read today and what we figure out if I do part three I'm gonna ask for a certain like so stay tuned for that but anyways we're here to report some new stuff that I have found yes that account has actually tweeted more or else I wouldn't be making this video obviously anyway and of course with the likes we're gonna get into that right now but I also have some stuff that this is why I say, and have always said since day one of reacting to any of this, especially the ships, that you have to take all of this with a grain of salt because you never know the intentions behind the people that are saying these things, that are spreading rumors, that are doing whatever it is that they're doing. Yes, they can go and be like, well, you know what? You can believe whatever you want, if it's true or if it's not, blah, 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 blah. It's up to you. But you also have to really, really, really do your own research. And, and you can't really believe, e trust me, don't believe every single thing you see out there, especially in the entertainment industry, Please, people, please do me a solid and just don't believe everything that you see or hear. Even if it's a video, like, you just don't know. I'm, I don't know if you're aware or not, but the power that is out there for people to fake things and manipulate things is on a whole other level that probably the average person is just like, what? That you, you couldn't even do that? Yes, you can. So beware. And also that just goes to say, just stay true to who you are as a person. And no matter what it is that you do and all that you do, stay true. Stay true. Don't create all that fake crap. Don't fall into that. Don't be part of that. Stay true and be part of the people who have that integrity. Anyway, a uh, little preach moment, rant moment. Over. Oh my gosh, there's a lot more than I thought there was since I had initially captured the things yesterday. Last thing we had heard was the Chalisa drama thing, right? Two days ago, as I'm filming this, here goes theories undercover. Before Lisa even proposed to Jenny, Elle obviously asked Jenny's mother for her daughter's hand. Elle asked Mr. Kim while she was at Jenny's place, aka Mr. Kim's. Lisa asked her without Jenny knowing. <laughs> That's cute. Just like the idea of doing that is just really sweet. Very traditional, by the way. At least from the perspective of a Mexican culture, that's what I know. That's something that I see is very traditional and it's very beautiful and I think it's really cute. Now, I'm not just saying this just specifically to a certain culture. You know, it's different all the way around and a lot of cultures do a lot of the same thing, which I think is really, really beautiful to see and just to see the ways that others do it in, in different cultures and stuff. So that's a very romantic gesture. I would be like so like, Oh my god, I'm really gonna do this. I'd be so like panicky. I think it's adorable. And so before I go on with this, stay and listen to this. Right after this, there's just stuff that we need to get into. Here's another one. As everyone knows, the original Dr. T hasn't been around, but they're a new doc around, Dr. T edition. They're not the same person and they don't know each other personally, but all of the info this new doc is saying hasn't happened yet. Watch out for December. Some big is coming up. As these things are happening, if they do happen, please go on my Instagram right now, wherever it fits on the screen, and please follow me so that you can send me the hot news because I'm telling you, I don't keep up with this unless somebody sends it to me. I don't do it on my free time. I don't consider myself a K-pop fan because I don't listen to K-pop. And I've said that since day one. The day that I do begin to listen to K-pop all the time, not just when I'm reacting, outside of reacting, that is when I would consider myself a fan of that, right? So I don't 
keep up with any of this. I don't keep up with the ships unless I'm reacting. So if you find out any of this stuff and any of this stuff comes out, please send me these things. Like I said in the last video, if it was for Regina, I wouldn't be diving into this and figuring out what's going on because I wouldn't have known. And then the person I'm gonna talk about after this that sent me some more info, if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be knowing any. So please keep me updated, please. So something big is coming up is what's being said. They go on to say the actual ring that Elle got for Jay is directly from Tokyo Kato Kataoka. Butchered that. It's one of its kind with three major stones. <laughs> I think that's so cute. I mean, see, that's how I roll. One of a kind. You know what I mean? Like, it's kind of hard sometimes to afford one of a kind, but like, unless you make it, like, DIY kind of thing. But I think that's really cute. Like, I love one of a kind. That's like... You hit me in my feels again, man. Whether this information is true or not, just the idea is so freaking adorable. <laughs> it's adorable. One of a kind, all right? It has pink, white, and yellow diamonds, which it makes it one of the most expensive rings Jay has ever owned. Jen, dang, that's how you wrote. Jenny herself told Chai Su, the stones for L represents union. By the way, when I said if it's one of the kind, I actually meant it's one of the kind. Yeah, girl. Don't worry, theory's on the cover. I got you covered. <laughs> See what I did there? Okay. And then they go on to say, if you are confused on how my insider got the info on how Lisa proposed to Jenny, my insider told me that L told a close friend, and that friend told my insider. That's why the info was detailed. Now we got some more good good here. This was posted a day ago. Some extra info that some Jaleesa shippers asked me and maybe even questions that you guys have. All right, one of you came through, if you're watching this. I don't know. But I'm assuming this is like a DM. Both Lisa and Jenny have talked with some friends about making the relationship public, so they have agreed on letting some stuff to be revealed. And obviously all the insiders, which are only four insiders, which are proving all of these infos for people that are good with words and to just say the info that we are allowed to say and given by the insiders. Okay, so they basically need to keep it low-key because the new CEO, aka Mama Waji, after she found out about Jaleesa's engagement, she obviously got mad with the news. Okay, let's just accept the fact that She's not one of us. Like, she's not part of the LGBTQ plus community. Not even an ally. It's 2020, Mama G. You gotta love everybody. You gotta accept more. Feel it in your heart. I know that maybe in certain parts of this world, especially when we're talking about South Korea specifically, it's not that well accepted, but it's 2020. About to be 2021. We gotta change. We gotta soften up our hearts. You know what I mean? Like... Dang, this got serious real quick. Okay. But she letting them sit and interact with each other more because Sia doesn't want you blinks to become more suspicious. Okay, that doesn't really kind of make sense to me, to be honest. I guess a little bit, but then I feel like if she's like definitely opposed to it, she's just gonna keep it that way. She's probably not gonna care whether the heck blinks like it or don't like it or want it to happen or not because she wants them separated. So you guys are gonna stay separated. Again, like I say, I always think on this business side of it, it's a business move that is going to help them, you know what I mean? Cause like, Look, the LGBTQ plus community, allies included, right? You guys are part of the community. We have the power, just as much as other communities, of course, we have the power to like, make your girl famous, you know what I mean? Like, or guy or whatever, like, or ship or whatever, like, we go hard, you know what I'm saying? It's a big move. And some people do that. And I can't, rem I still can't remember the word from the last time I was trying to remember what the word was. I thought it was queer baiting, but I don't think that's what I wanted to say. But like, you know how some celebrities and some people out there and internet celebrities and micro celebrities and all whatever you want to call it out there, jump on the LGBTQ plus bandwagon just to get their support. You know, it's a sad move when you don't intentionally care and you're just looking at the like ding ding dollar signs and attention abuse and all that stuff. It happens. Things like that happen. Next, it says, this will be the last post I will make until we make another appearance between them at the end of November or even on the beginning of December. <laughs> you don't leave us for that long. Just kidding. This is something they wrote. Oh gosh, okay. I've been getting a lot of private texts asking me about Jalisa and who my insider is. All I will say, and I will not repeat, is I will not say who it is. He, she is indeed close to Blackpink because he's a staff member. Okay, you, you, you just gave it away, I think. Did they just give it away? They said he, she, but then they said he's. So, uh, was that a clerical error, my friend, or what? Don't you guys think that whatever happens to any of their idols, they would know? If I say something that is way too detailed, is because a friend, Black Pete, members, another staff member told my insider or another insider that told the other insiders. If you don't want to believe, then don't. No one is making you believe something you don't want to believe. Some things I've said haven't happened yet. For example, what my team and I have said previously. I said that something big will happen to Blackpink in December. 
and will continue on saying that something big will happen in a specific month. So don't take my word for granted if it doesn't happen. More because YG is known to change dates, but we are providing for you. We are humans too. We don't. We want to have our own time without getting our phones bombarded with questions that we can't answer, like personal information. We are only following orders from our insiders. Once you choose to help the insiders spread their words, you can get out from being their helpers. So it's not as fun as you guys think. It is very exhausting when making sure you make everything clear for anyone to understand. We won't be back until the end of November or even the beginning of December. So ha, take that. That's how I feel like the end of that part of it. Now, that kind of just sounds like they're forming some kind of cult or some kind of like, what's the word? Like, like, um, I can't think of the word. I don't know why I made that face. Cause I was gonna say a word, but I was like, that's not the word I want to say. It just made it sound very like, once you jumped in, you jumped in, you can't get out. So this is the pin tweet. All right, and then we're gonna move on. Read the following information that will clarify why people like me is used to spread information. Like the Korean ships, never and will never mention the insiders' names nor positions in their jobs. Also have in mind that the insiders are risking their jobs and getting fired. Yes, exactly. See, if this is true, no matter if it is or is not true, you can't leak people's names like that because if that is like something you should not be doing, which probably if you're not sure you should not be doing that, you probably should not be doing that in the first place. But like they could literally get fired or like something could happen to them and you don't want to do that. Don't think that they're going to leak that. And I know why some people are trying to find out who the insider is because they want some validity to what is being said. They want some proof. They want some evidence. And I don't blame you. We can't take whatever this person is saying to be 100% true or true at all or even the slightest bit true. We don't know. That's why we're investigating. That's why we're figuring out if this is true or not true or if somebody's pulling a leg. Because there can be a thousands of fans out there or people or even as somebody who is not a Jalisa shipper who's just trying to antagonize and just trying to troll. You get what I'm saying? Like you can't take these things for certain. You gotta take it out with a grain of salt. And it's also kind of sad because this is the kind of stuff that people get invested in and they invest their emotions. And while that is not always a smart idea to do because again, you don't know if this is true or if it's not true. But like if you're just doing it for entertainment purposes or just to be like, Oh, my little heart, my little dose of happiness and joy and gay love, you know, cool. But like, if it's really affecting you on a level that's like serious, where like you will cry at night because of these things, don't do that to yourself. Because at the end of the day, these are businesses. It's the entertainment business. They have, they will, and they will continue to do things to get entertainment out of these things. Sometimes things are forced upon the talent. That's what a lot of people have come out to say that are in the industry, that have been in the industry for years. Half of the time, it's said that you're controlled by them. And hey, at the end of the day, this is all legend. Go on the internet, go see what actual celebrities are saying about this kind of stuff. People who have actually been in the entertainment industry, they are saying it themselves. I mean, think about all the people who have just disappeared and like they were just one hit wonders or decided to just no more I don't want to do this anymore think about why for some it was just like the same for me but for others there's a lot that happens behind closed doors that you won't know and you probably won't ever get to know because there's a lot of corruption that happens there's a lot of things that happen and I just want you to see and know and have that in mind because you never you never know what is going on behind closed doors and that's the sad part. Let me read the rest of what this person says so that we can move on to the next portion of this video. Regarding my previous tweets, I wanted to clarify that this account is managed by more than one person and that the insider is a staff member, but it's not a well-known staff member. So if you guys are trying to know who it is, you won't. FYI, most YG staff don't have social media. Before the mutual friend of mine and also the insider introduced us, I have no idea who it was until the insider mentioned its work. The insider asked me if I know who Blackpink is and I obviously said, yeah. Duh. After a month passed, the insider reached my private Instagram and asked me a few questions. Until the questions reached Jen Lisa, the insider asked me if I would like to spread some information about them. The insider told me the information and before I even started this account, I made my own research about the information the insider told me. So I reached out to the other people like me that spreads information about them and I asked them the questions about the information I was given by my now insider. Both of them agreed and their information also matched with my insiders. So after all these, I decided to go with it. Remember, I am only a person that it's been used to spread information, nothing else. Make up your opinions from that. I, you you could ask yourself, why does this person even want to spread this information? What is the whole idea behind spreading this information? Is it a PR move? Could it be a PR move? You know what I mean? There's so many questions and this is what causes so much uncertainty because you just don't freaking know. Like you don't know. Like what's the freaking purpose then? What's the whole point? If evil, evil, can evil, why you doesn't want this to be spread, but yet somebody in the management is allowing it to spread, is it because they want to help the girls out? Is it because they see what's going on and they feel bad? Or, but you're also risking your cheeks because at the end of the day, they could literally go and freaking figure it out probably who it is. Would they really want this information to come back to them? At the end of the day, they're not stupid people. They're business people. They're gonna figure it out. These are like 
I don't, I don't know. Get another DM from this person who actually wrote the theories underscore. So, I want to read that to you. Shire sent me a picture of this. It says, oh, okay, got it. By the way, do you know when they will say it in public about their status? And then theories underscore Jen Lisa, which now changed their name to theories undercover. It says, my answer and I talked about it, and we both think the same way about what you are asking me. Jenny and Lisa won't say it soon, but they might announce it during a future concert near Blackpink's end. So they reply, oh, I hope so too. Crying face, thank you so much. There's that, that they actually talked to them. But again, 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 and again, take this all with a grain of salt because you never know. I ended up getting a message from and some comments also said this, but, and I'm gonna read it because this is what made, exactly what made me be like, you see what I mean? Like, you can't take these things for certain. This is what this person said. I just watched a video today, I'm telling you, don't believe that account theories you, all the words he, she says was already been revealed by a YouTube account named Jen Lisa Hugh, Hugh, hi, Hugh. The Twitter account has been made just two months ago, but Jen Lisa Hugh YouTube channel has been uploading since 2008 about Jen Lisa. And the thing is that Jen Lisa Hugh YouTube is uploading videos with the FF on it means Fan fiction, but a group of Jen Lisa shippers was really curious about her videos because the details were so real, bro. Like, seriously, every word is believable. So, the group of JL shippers, including me, we find a way to contact this JL Hugh and we ask her about these series that she's made. Why it seems so real, but she puts FF on the title. Then she said, It's better if I will put it that way so people will only think it's really just a fan fiction, but it's all real. I don't want people to think that I'm spreading lies, so better that I'll put it in a sarcastic way saying this is just a fanfic. But for those who really believe that, Jen Lisa are real, they would know that it's the truth. I'll send you some link to the series she made. So, ah, that's a lot to unpack, isn't it? I know. So what they're saying is that basically theories is pretty much kind of plagiarizing what Jen Lisa Hugh has been saying. Sorry if I butchered that by the way. If I'm understanding that correctly, that's what's allegedly being said. And that's what's allegedly happening here. They sent me links. I'm not gonna react to the videos, but I will do that in the next part if there is a next part. I don't know if this is gonna go anywhere or what's gonna happen. No, it has to go somewhere. We're trying to do it. We're trying to get to the bottom of this. What the heck am I talking about? So part three, if you guys want me to go through this, I will go through this. I don't wanna make this video super freaking long either because what if it's not that fun? Yeah, a lot has been happening since the last time. I filmed part one. That's that's just gonna be crazy if if all this information is just like recycled. Ah, uh, I don't know. If you want me to get into that part three, I'm gonna need to see a thousand likes. That's a big jump from 150 to a thousand. I know it's possible. I know that you can do that. But part three, if you guys find out any information it's sent to me, then I will include that in there and also check out the other videos that were sent to me from Jalisa Hugh and see what they're saying and see if it actually does line up with the other person saying and maybe it is true. Maybe they're just leeching the information, making it their own, rephrasing it and such. I have no clue but I do know that I have been getting information about that and I'm listening and I'm reading and I'm just as confused as you might be because I'm just like okay what the heck is actually going on since part one since the beginning of that even before that because I filmed a video about something else that was written on Wattpad because I also have that video that I have to edit and mentions Dr. T and it goes into Julissa and all that but I was saying since then I've always been like take this with a grain of salt you don't know who's behind these accounts and you don't know their intentions and that's just how it is and, and like they said you can believe or not believe it it's not gonna change a thing for them but it could for you so that's why again for the millionth time take this all with a grain of salt don't take it too hard don't believe it 100 percent and just know that there are people out in this world as you probably know and have seen that don't have the best intentions and they don't care that is why you have to watch out for your heart your mind body and soul because you just never know in conclusion my fellow Jalisa shippers if indeed Janisa Hugh has been posting this since day one and this account could possibly be, I mean, we don't know, taking that information or maybe they're somehow working with each other or maybe the insider is taking the information. I have no idea how the heck this whole web of happenings is happening. That would be really freaking sucky. I don't know. I just keep saying nobody knows the truth except for the girls involved. They know the truth. They know what's happening. And a lot of times there will be people out there who will try to sabotage people just because they want to or because they're bitter or they're a hater or they just can't see others on the rise and they're not you know what I mean like this this is just so much that goes into it and hey at the same time maybe there are people out there that might be trying to help them and might be trying to give them that little glimpse of happiness maybe they are together and maybe they are saddened by the fact that their management and a lot of the world just doesn't accept it and where they live they don't accept it maybe that little bit of light shine into their life makes them feel better or they see them and, and they do support it and they are all for that love and they're like man you know 
what I'm gonna help Jen Lisa out, man, like just to give them a little glimmer of hope. We don't know. We don't know. So at the end of the day, you know, I do this just to put a little bit of hope back into the world and just some happiness and just some escapism, you know what I mean? From your everyday life. Life gets freaking hard. And we all have things that we use to escape from that reality and just to put our worries behind and just enjoy. I want you to enjoy these videos. I don't want you to take them to heart. I don't want you to start believing everything you see and continuously believing everything you see because it's definitely, that's just, it's not a healthy way to live. And on the contrary, I mean, it does get difficult because it's not a healthy way to live where you're constantly questioning everything, you know, that really fucks you up. So you have to find a healthy balance. Some of us are like, hey, we need to see some proof. We need to see some evidence to really believe it. But then at the same time, you're like, shoot, I don't know if that evidence is even real. Who made this? I think I'm just making the situation worse now by saying all this, but I just want you to know that we're all here together investigating, being little detectives and just having fun. Like I've said, and I've mentioned with the whole Cameron thing, and I know I mentioned it in another video coming up or maybe I already did, I don't remember. I don't know, I've done so many videos that I've filmed that I, don't even, I can't even keep track. The reason why I don't go in and react to Cameron because like, side note, I loved the ship. That was one of the first ships that I was like, oh, yes, yes, oh. So cute. But the whole reason why I don't react to that is because one of them or both of them, I can't remember, I always forget, came out and literally said that it made them uncomfortable and they didn't like it and they thought it was weird. So I just feel weird stepping over that boundary. That's just me personally. Like the saying goes to each their own. If somebody else was comfortable, then go for it. But I don't feel comfortable knowing that they have already come out in public, or one of them or whatever, that it has already been publicly said through their own Twitter account or mouth or whatever, with their own thoughts that said that it made them uncomfortable. So I don't want to step over that. Like that, that just doesn't feel right right to me as a person. If indeed Lisa or Jenny were ever to come out and publicly say it, that would be the end of this. I would not make any more videos on them or any of the other shit. So if that ever does happen, please let me know and send me the proof so I can go and check because like I said, I don't keep up with this kind of stuff. That will be the day that I stop making these kind of videos about that certain shit because I don't want to cross that line because at the end of the day, they're human. They were human before they were a superstar. So you do gotta respect that. So that is why, I, again, like I always say, I do this for your enjoyment, to have fun. I love to fangirl over love just as much as the next person. I love, love romance and passion and just seeing love. Like that's just what fuels me. It just makes my heart so happy. So to see that kind of stuff is just, it makes me smile. I'm gonna stop rambling. I know it's been me talking a lot, but if you're still here, thank you. I appreciate you taking the time to listen to the words that I have to say. I appreciate that. And I know some people are just here to watch the reaction and boom, out. But if you're still here at this point in the video, I just want to say genuinely thank you so much. I've been going through a rough patch and just seeing the love, the comments, like it's hard to express how thankful I am. And if you do see me in the comments always saying thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, it's because I genuinely mean it. I thank you so much for taking time out of your valuable day to even leave me a comment, to even watch this video. And even more, if you go and follow me on my social medias, especially my Instagram, because that's where I'm on the most, it just moves me. It touches my heart because it lets me know that I'm actually doing something, that my hard work is paying off and that I'm building a strong bond with you. And that's what I've been wanting for so long. And it's finally, like happening on a small scale but it makes me happy to see and I just want to say thank you again from the bottom of my heart thank you so much if you want a part three for this please a thousand likes comment down below let me know that you want a part three don't feel obligated if you don't want to that's perfectly fine but I want to take what you want into consideration as well so if there's more yes for part threes then I'll definitely jump on that but in the meantime I have a whole bunch of other Jen Lisa reactions that I've done that you seriously need to catch up on or right here in this place and if you don't want to see that video check this video out right here and remember if there's one thing that I want to call to mind there are actually three no matter the highs and lows always be sure always be certain to do good be grateful and stay humble